In this video, we will be discussing uh, EMI Objective 2 from HCVMA. So, there is a bar magnet which is moved along the axis of a copper ring which is placed far away distance from the magnet. Looking from the side of the magnet, an anti-clockwise current is found to be induced in the ring. Then which of the following cases may be true? So, we can say as the magnet uh, as the induced current is anti-clockwise while looking from the magnet we can say that the north pole must have induced towards the magnet because the nearer induced pole if it is north then the induced current is anti-clockwise and if the nearer induced pole is south the current will be in clockwise direction so we can say for anti-clockwise current the nearer induced pole is north so there can be two cases in which south pole is moving away from the loop and north pole is moving towards the loop so c and b are the two possible cases in the next question uh, conducting rod is moved with a constant velocity v in a uniform magnetic field so a potential difference will appear on the two rods if v is parallel to b no uh, if any of the three vectors which are v b and l are parallel to each other any of the two then there will be no induced current whether it's b is parallel to l or b is parallel to v or v is parallel to l so in the three cases there will be no induced emf and the answer will be d only in the next question there's a conducting loop which is placed in the third question there's a conducting loop which is placed in a uniform magnetic field with its plane perpendicular to the field and emf is induced by doing what if it is translated or if it is rotated or it is rotated about its axis or about its diameter and uh, it is deformed so let's have a look at the diagram assuming it's to be a circular uh, loop which is placed in a, in a uniform magnetic field which is into the plane of paper so if it is translated and it still remains in the magnetic field region there will be no induced emf and if it is rotated about this point or this axis again this is the axis of the ring so there will be no induced emf because again the flux will not change but if it is rotated about this axis which is the diameter which is the option c so flux will change first it will increase then decrease and then uh, alternating emf ac emf will be induced and by deforming the area will change so the induced emf will occur in the next uh, d part also so c and d will be the answers in the next question there is a metal sheet which is placed in front of a strong magnetic pole a force is needed if the sheet is uh, magnetic then the force will be needed uh, to keep it at rest also and to move it also so option a to hold the sheet if it is magnetic and option c to move the sheet if it is magnetic no matter how you move it you require some force so uh, but when it is non-magnetic there is no force required to hold it there is no force required to hold it but uh, as we move the sheet there will be uh, induced emf and some forces will occur because of the induction so even if it is non-magnetic the force is required to move it okay so in the next question there is a constant current i which is maintained in a solenoid which of the following quantities will increase if an iron rod is inserted in the solenoid along its axis by inserting an iron rod as the iron is a uh, ferromagnetic substance the magnetic field will all obviously increase the flux will also increase as the magnetic field is increasing and self inductance of the solenoid will increase because uh, a factor mu r which is greater than 1 for iron will be mul multiplied to the uh, inductance of the solenoid but the joule heating will remain same as there is no change in the resistance of the solenoid and the current is maintained so 
there will be no change in i square r so rate of joule hitting will remain same whereas all three a b and c will change there are two solenoids which have identical geometrical constructions but one is made up of thick wire and the other is of thin wire so which of the following quantities are different for the two solenoid first is self inductance no self inductance does not depend on the material by which uh, the wires of the solenoid are made so self inductance will not be differ different as their uh, dimensions are same but joule heating as joule heating is nothing but i square r so joule heating depends on r so it will change because there are two different types of wires and energy stored in the inductor is simply half l i square i is same uh, so sorry i will be different if the batteries are let me just check magnetic field if the same current goes no if the current is same and l will also be same so there will be no change in the energy stored in the inductor but tau as i l is same but r is different for two solenoids so the tau or time constant will be different so the answer should be b and d in the next question there is an lr circuit in an lr circuit with a battery connected at t equal to zero which of the following quantities is not or are not zero just after the making the connection so as the connect uh, circuit has an inductor the current initial will be zero as it is uh, the switch is closed so the current will be zero and magnetic energy is nothing but half l i square so it will also be zero and power delivered is nothing but e into i emf induced into i as i is zero so power will also be zero both current energy and power in the inductor will be zero but emf induced will be equal to the voltage applied across the conductor or across the inductor so only d option is correct so in the next question question number eight there is a rod uh, ab which is uh, moving uniformly in a uniform magnetic field as shown and we have to comment whether the rod will become electrically charged no the charges in the rod will just get segregated the terminal a will get positive charge and accumulation of positive charge and at terminal b there will be an accumulation of negative charge the rod will become hot because of joule heating no the rod will remain uh, there will be no joule heating as there is no current in the loop as there is no loop so v cross b gives the direction of positive terminal so v cross b is towards a hence it will be positively charged or will be at high potential there will be no joule heating as there is no loop so no current in the question number ninth there is an lcr represent uh, l and c and r are basically inductor capacitor and resistance which of the following combination have direction uh, dimensions of frequency first is 1 by rc and second is this 1 by rc r by l 1 by root lc all are nothing but time the only thing which is not time is c by l so these three have the dimension of time in the next question there are two circuits at t equal to zero the switches are closed and they are reopened at t equal to infinity so what will happen in this circuit at t equal to zero when it is closed the charge on the capacitor will be zero and after uh, very long time or at t equal to infinity charge on the capacitor will be c e and there will be no current flowing in the circuit and uh, the situation is just opposite in this case initially the current flowing in the circuit and the capacitive circuit will be e by r because the capacitor will behave as an open circuit it will not oh, as a short wire it will not oppose any flow of current but when it is fully charged it will not allow any current to pass through it 
in case of inductor this inductor uh, will oppose the current uh, flow of current initially by a very large uh, resistance so it will act like a finite resistance and there will be no current as the switches just close the current will gradually increase and it will attain a value which is equal to e by r at t equal to infinity so we can say that the indu uh, that the current at t equal to infinity in this loop will be e by r so let's to uh, take a look at the options the charge on capacitor at t equal to 0 is c no this option is correct uh, the charge on t on capacitor long after this time will be Z, uh, c yes the current in the inductor just before t equal to t naught t naught is infinite time will be e by r the current in inductor long after t naught so when the switch is opened the current in the inductor will decrease uh, will become zero so it will not be the case we can look from the uh, equations also q equal to 0 at t equal to 0 q equal to c at t equal to infinity which is t naught also and current is 0 at t equal to 0 and current is e by r at t equal to infinity just t naught so b and c are the only correct options thank you